Now, the spark for this event came from the man that I have the pleasure to introduce now. Uh, Dr. Walid Jafali is an entrepreneur, uh, but he's also keenly interested in science. And that led him to uh, invest his time and his energy into uh, studying uh, one of the toughest fields of medical science, neuroscience, and to obtain his PhD in neuroscience at uh, the Imperial College in uh, London. And then after that, to invest his resources into helping evolve the science. It's a pleasure to invite on stage Dr. Walid Jafali. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning uh, to you all. We are living in an age characterized by a shift value from an industrial economy to one that is based on science and engineering. The digital revolution has moved from commerce to healthcare. I see enormous potential in this digital age for interdisciplinary teams, health professionals, scientists, technologists, and engineers, empowered to unshackle the challenges we face in this important field of science. Mobile technologies, as you are all aware, are changing the fundamentals of the way we live and the way we manage our health. This has opened the door for researchers, scientists and engineers to build ever more extraordinary products to create entirely new services that we could only dream of not so long ago. A decade ago, 10 years ago, it took tens of thousands of dollars and the room-sized computer processing for two days to map a single genome of a human being. Today, targeted genome sequencing can be done by a device the size of our mobile phone in minutes and at fraction of the cost. The impact of this type of accessibility to healthcare is immeasurable and unprecedented. Following the breakthrough of the Human Genome Project, which we will be exposed to in our exhibition hall today, uh, the human brain is now the new frontier. Brain-related neurological disorders currently represent the greatest frontier in medical science, with population aging around the globe, brain degenerative diseases like Alzheimer, dementia, and Parkinson's, etc., will reach pandemic levels and proportions in the next 30 years if nothing is done. I see the untapped potential to help the people lead better lives. I think that if we can create an environment whereby medic scientists and engineers can openly collaborate to integrate new technologies we will have in our grasp, the tools to help transform the health of billions of people and improve the lives of future generations. My main objective in holding the first brain forum in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, is to help put Saudi Arabia on the roadmap in the human brain frontier. With this in mind, I am delighted to see you all here, and I do hope you enjoy the next two days. Welcome to the Brain Forum. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much.